It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, June 29th. I'm James Spann. Hey, feels like fall in parts of Alabama this morning, but the muggies come back tonight, and the rest of the week we'll have these scattered showers and storms each day to deal with. Check it out. It's a high-amplitude pattern this morning. Big ridge in the west, a big trough in the east. The west is sizzling and baking. Saw triple-digit heat up into Montana and Idaho yesterday, as you might expect with a pattern like that, but boy, does it feel good here. Look at Fort Payne, double nickels to start the day. They've got 55. Our observer at Black Creek near Gadsden has 54. Uh, but again, after, uh, you know, today the, with the higher humidity values, nights will not be as cool. That's a watch warning map early this morning. Pretty quiet nationally. On the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight, a couple of slight risks to the north, one around Minneapolis-St. Paul, one around Louisville and Cincinnati. Tomorrow, a marginal risk does extend down into the northern half of Alabama. And on day three, Wednesday, a marginal risk to the north. But no doubt rain coverage will be going up after today. In fact, uh, some pretty good rains likely for the Tennessee Valley. This is suggesting rain amounts of maybe two and a half inches there, with the amounts much lighter over southeast Alabama. And the tropics, look at that, just quiet as could be with a huge amount of dry air off in the deep Atlantic Basin. Hey, model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. And again, that's a pretty remarkable look for late June with the big trough in the east. We'll take that. The day should be mostly sunny. The humidity's very low. Obviously, dew points are in the 50s in many spots. However, we we will indicate the chance of a shower late today, mainly north of Birmingham. This is the HRRR at 6 o'clock. Uh, if you're north of US 278, north of Hamilton or Cullman or Gadsden, you could see a few scattered showers late today. But the rest of north central Alabama below US 278 should be dry. But yeah, buddy, tomorrow the moisture is back. We'll see scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms. Today we'll see a high close to 90, but tomorrow probably mid to upper 80s. The sun will be out at times, but it should rain on us at times. And that's going to be the theme for the rest of the week. This is Wednesday. We note that surface low that's over Kansas. Thursday, the surface low is passing over the Ohio River north of the state. And again, we can't give you start and stop times on the rain. We just can't do that. But every day, we'll have scattered showers and storms about better coverage in the afternoon and evening. But we can't rule out a late night or a morning shower. And this is Friday. A lot of folks have this day off as a holiday weekend begins. Same thing, upper 80s, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with scattered showers and storms. And nothing's really going to change through the weekend. This is Saturday. We've still got troughing here, so it's not going to be too hot. Uh, the GFS is spitting out 89 for the high on Saturday. That's pretty, I don't want to say cool, but it's pretty comfortable for the 4th of July. And again, the risk of a few storms about. But understand, you know, like this past Saturday, it's not going to be a total washout. The sun should be out at times. And the same thing on Sunday, July 5th. Partly sunny, scattered, mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. And this is a week from today, Monday, July 6th. Still got the heat bubble to the west, broad troughing in the east, and no real change. This is the end of the forecast, the middle of next week, Wednesday the 8th. Troughing lifting northwards, so we might heat up a little bit, and that looks relatively dry. And you can see this week we're expecting highs mostly in the 80s, then low 90s for the weekend, and highs in the low, maybe mid-90s next week. But again, these ensemble numbers have been a little too high on the on the maximum side here lately. These are anomalies June, uh, July 6th through July 12th. This is suggesting temperatures could be a little above average here. Uh, I'm not so sure. We'll probably be pretty close to average with below average values off to the west. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.